be back with DC stress for moderator A. This season, no one useful is upped. But if you must know, maids division is upped and we have minus 90% hit to all ground units. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly really hate this debuff. I will be going over the mechanics of the fight, some tips and tricks, and I have a few example teams for you to use this season. All this will be timestamped, which you can find in the video description. Let's go ahead and check it out. So this boss is a defender type that sits at the back and just completely annoys you with its mines. This boss has a proximity check that if you do not have your units within a certain range, it will sit there and launch a laser beam killing your entire team. Boss's basics just hit in front of him. Uh, most ranged units cannot range it. Boss's special, indicated by the blue bar, will sit there and deploy mines. Now, this has a unique mechanic that it will deploy mines at your ship if there are three or less units on the field. If you have more than three units on the field, the boss will sit there and deploy the mines in front of itself which is usually where your team's at and any units that's standing in the gas released afterwards will take a minus hit debuff at stacks at 218 or if you do a third of the boss's hp the boss will initiate a damage check which you need to clear if you do not then he'll activate his laser killing your team after clearing the damage check the boss will sit there and move forward and in which this time you are free to DPS him, but this will sit there and activate phase two. Now granted, you do get a damage bonus from hitting the boss from behind. Once you get to the last HP bar, he will go into phase three in which he starts it off by shooting the laser that knocks all your units forward that are on the map currently. Then he'll proceed to your ship and start attacking it. Now, during this, he will activate damage checks in which if you hit him, it will stun him. But other than that, he will sit there and quickly attack your ship and kill it if you're not quick to kill him. Boss usually has a proximity check that you only needed one melee unit in order to pass it. But the special conditions now require that you have two or the boss will just laser beam your team. At some point you're going to get to the damage check. The pattern enhance basically changes the damage reduction the boss gets to have plus 75 in the front but minus 25 in the back. All right. So we're getting into some stats for nerds here. This boss is going to have 2 million HP, 2,999 defense. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why they just didn't give it the one, make it 3,000 even, but you know, okay. 1,500 hit and 1,000 evasion. So this means that your tanks are normally going to need 801 or more evasion to dodge the boss. Your DPS will need 1,875 or more hit in order to surefire the boss or if you shred by 50% 938 hit. If you time something to trigger the proximity check at 226 just for a moment then the boss will sit there and get locked into its proximity check again all the way up into the point in which its sister goes into its damage check which prevents the last set of mines. The cool thing about Enterprise's S1 is that it applies the evasion shred at the start of the skill and then on the last hit. So if you sit there and use this much earlier than the burst phase, you can actually get a larger window of surefire during the entire fight as the last hit will hit during the burst phase. Okay, 
Okay, so normally I would sit there and deploy the Awaken first, but we're doing some cheeky stuff, so you need to get Lin Jian out first, and then Jacko. After that, we're going to sit here and wait till 250 to sit there and drop a Gia. This will sit there and line up her special ulti later on for our burst phase. Now, we want to use our S1 as soon as possible because keeping these guys, al your front line alive the entire time is a pain in the butt and any damage reduction helps. Go ahead and get Rebecca out as soon as possible. Her debuffs are huge on this fight, and as soon as we ulti with Ninjian, we want to sit there and deploy our wardens as soon as, no, as soon as we can. About 2:30. Now 2:27 is when you want to sit there and be summon Ninjian, and that'll let you skip the last mine. Then after that is basically pop a Gia ulti, get through the damage check and then pop all your ultis and do as much damage as you can to the boss. I lost a few seconds here on misses and no crits, but is what it is. And as you can see, Jacko just carrying this team with 2.2 million damage. For this team, we are running Lin Jian on a full CDR tank set. I did give her a little crit rest for more survivability. Ingrid, you can just run on whatever damage gear that has anti-defender, anti-ground. She's only out for a few seconds and I'm only using her for a buff or debuff rather. Rebecca, I have on full CDR for timing purposes. Sinjia, I have on full CDR tank set. I want as much skill haste on her as we can afford. Jacko, I'm running on anti-defender attack set with as much crit damage, anti-defender, anti-ground, and melee damage as I can get on her. Wardens, we're just doing double anti-defender with as much anti-defender set as, you know, damage and ground damage as we could possibly fit on them. So Yoon, I'm just going full attack speed. Uh, this is the last defender set I had, so it just went on to her. And then Dorothy, I'm running at A speed, but you can run her on pretty much any damage gear and she'll be fine. Okay, so I have Lurcher on the team, but that's so I can sit here and do this auto deploy here and get Rebecca out as soon as possible. Uh, Lurcher's just a placeholder, so pay no mind to it. We never summon it or deploy. All right, so again, we want to sit here and use our S1 to try and reduce as much damage as possible on Lin Jian to keep it alive. We deploy our wardens back here to take the mine there. Um, as soon as about 235 is when I deploy my my Eve, and then that lines up with Lin Jian's ulti, and then we immediately get Soyun out here. Now, you as soon as the boss uses a special, he sits there and cleanses. So you need to time your S2 for after that. Deploy Dorothy. Wait for all the debuffs, then use Rebecca, and then Eve should finish off the boss with its counter. And then we see here Eve doing 1.3 million damage. One mil of it with her counter. New Detroit is the ship, Vivian is the operator. For Lin Jian, we're running tank CDR. Want as much CDR and ground res as possible. Alex, we're just running on standard HP HP. Uh, the EE would be helpful, but she's up, so you, she's not in any real danger. Shepard and Lurcher, well, she eh, she's not on the team, so don't worry about her gear. Rebecca, now Rebecca, you need 51% skill haste for this with as much anti-mech, anti-defender, anti-ground, and range damage as you fit on her. Eve, I'm using special damage amp, anti-defender, anti-defender, um, attack, attack, A speed, any one of those mixtures will work out. You may have to sit there and adjust your mods though, depending. Wardens, I have on double anti-defender. Just fitting as much anti-defender and anti-ground as I can. 
So a Yoon, I have on my A-Speed Anti-Defender set, but any type of Anti-Defender damage is good on her, so Bullet, Shadow Hall, any of those sets. Dorothy, I should eventually put her on damage at one point, but uh, I'm kind of lazy. So she's just on my standard A-Speed, but any damage set would work on her as well. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope this helps you improve your scores this season. With this debuff, may RNG be in your favor. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're feeling extra special, you can join the Mage Institute by clicking the join button. You can catch me on Discord, link is in the description. If you want to support this channel, there's a link in the description for that too. As always, I'll see you all next time.